Supergirl. Hey guys, just finished watching Supergirl season three, episode two, Triggers. Um, this episode was interesting. You know, it was, de it was fun dealing with the different things going on and stuff. And then you follow this episode, uh, it would be leading to the next chapter. That looks really interesting. But this episode was kind of interesting with, you know, having this girl with who gives us uh, Supergirl the kind of fear powers and stuff like that, or triggers her fear and stuff. And that was quite cool seeing how that kind of interacted with different people. I would have liked to have seen more people than just Supergirl getting that. I mean, it was really fun seeing Supergirl with doing that. Um, I just would have liked to see, you know, play with everyone's fear and stuff like that. And maybe she could have gone through Capco or gone through, um, gone through the DEO and stuff and really get everyone's fear. I mean, we did see her attack John Jones, Martian Manhunt. Hunter, yet she didn't, we didn't see what was going on with that we didn't see what his greatest fear is and with next week's episode being the episode where we get to see his father again he goes back to mars and all that stuff that would make it so much more personal a bigger connection is if we saw you know things that happened things like that if we just witnessed his whole family uh you know he got triggered and he witnessed his whole family die we don't know what he saw did he just see fire and burning and that's his fear and, and the story things like that um, because the first time Supergirl got blasted, it was just claustrophobia and things like that. And the second time, it was her, uh, it was actually her on Krypton watching Monel die, and then she realized that the third time and all that stuff. And that was kind of a cool way to do with it, but. It would have been interesting to see what Martian Manager was seeing. You know, if we had seen him, if he was watching his parents die, his 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 his, his, his wife and kids die all over and, and over and over and over again, that would have been really interesting. Uh, you know, did he see his father in that? That would have been a cool thing to see his father, um, you know, dying and things like that. That would have been an interesting aspect. You know, if we just saw like tons and tons of people and you know we didn't realize who it was at, at a time you know a bunch of people and you know we don't really know that which one is his father because they all look the same you know type thing and we just see oh i just saw all of my family and friends dying at the same time because all we have to do is just see one flash of a bunch of um a bunch of these martians dying and stuff like that that would have been cool and then seeing that and then it would have would have made a bigger moment for one next week's episode when we finally get to see his father and stuff so that would have been a better thing to do in this episode but Another part in this episode has kind of got me thinking about the whole Samantha Eris part type of thing with Rain and stuff and building up that character, which is, is definitely interesting. I find it different than any other character just dealing with this regular person and stuff who's going to turn into this villain and things like that. And it's going to be fun to see where th how things could continue on and where things kind of breaks into becoming a villain or something like that. I think it could be cool. I think I could see them building it up now that there's a connection between Kara and her and stuff. She might be more of a Kara villain than she will be like a Supergirl villain. Um, both in the comic book name like Rain and stuff like that. They're going to make her into a Supergirl villain. So I think it's going to be cool to see that. And I could see that she maybe kind of figures it out that she might be uh, figure out that Kara is Supergirl and things like that. I could think building that up. Although I don't know how they're going to build up that much of her being uh, her and Kara is if she's going to be taking care of um, Luther Corp while Lena takes care of Catco, um, and she it feels like they've met now, and there's no reason for them to ever meet again because Luther Court and Capco, yeah, they're owned by both by Lena, but that's the only connection they have. Is they're both owned by owned by Lena. That's it, you know. Um, I don't really know how much there's going to be interaction between Kara and 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 um, Samantha and stuff. I mean. Uh, Business-wise, there's not really much interaction there. Maybe, you know, if if she has to go and physically get Lena to sign things for Luther, or for Luther, or Luther Corp, or Le uh, L Corp, as they call it, uh, then you know, there's that. But with modern technology, she can even do it over, you know, on her iPad or whatever, things like that, and just send it over. Uh, doesn't really actually need to sign things. So I don't know. There's just so there's just it's gonna be interesting to see how they play with that and how they make her uh, and Kara kind of interact a little bit more. I can see that they're obviously setting that up, and there's not going to be much interaction in, t in next week's episode with when she, she goes to Mars with John Jones and stuff. But uh, definitely, it's going to be fun to see where that goes. Really excited to see how that goes and see uh, the actor who plays um, Martian Manhunter's father, which, if not mistaken, is the actor, same actor who played, uh, who voiced Martian Manhunter in the Justice League cartoons in the 90s and stuff. So that'll be quite fun to hear have his voice back. Um, I guess I should watch a few episodes before next week just to recognize his voice and stuff and see if it's changed over the years but uh i think it's gonna be fun to see that next week's episode i definitely love to do uh, legacy casting like that i think it's gonna be fun 
to see that and it's always a bonus when they do legacy castings and i think this could be cool uh and i think next week's episode hopefully on the surface it sounds like an, a great idea for us it sound definitely sounds like a filler episode but depending on whether or not we get to see his father throughout the whole season you know do we get to see his father in this one episode and that's it end of story um or do we does he become a character throughout the season throughout the 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 series and stuff like that because <clears throat> it would be cool to see him become some sort of recurring character kind of like helen slater is and dean kane they're in here here and there they're not in every episode but they're in every like fifth fifth episode type of thing like that that would be cool uh and uh yeah that could, could be interesting to see what happens with that in next week's episode so let me know what you think guys about this episode in the comments below what do you think about it and uh i'll see you guys in the next video peace out i'm captain america here to talk to you about one of the most valuable traits a soldier or student can have subscribing sometimes subscribing is the key to victory sometimes it leads to very little and it seems like it's not worth it and you wonder why you waited so long for something so disappointing how many more of these you're still here don't forget to like comment and subscribe guys peace it's over.